So guys, many of us always have this confusion that whenever we are going to buy a new des desktop computer or a laptop, we always search that what kind of processor should I go for. Whether I should buy a Intel i3 processor, whether I should buy a one with Intel i5 processor or I should buy a one with Intel i core i7 or i9 processor. So this is uh, what we are going to discuss in this video and I am going to clear all your doubts regarding these processors and we are going to tell you that which processor will be best for your need. So without wasting any time guys let's right jump into the video and let's start the video. Well guys the the first and the foremost processor which comes in this category is Intel Core i3 processor. Now you might have seen that whenever you are going to a certain shop or to buy a PC or a laptop your the the salesman always uh, first uh, asks your requirement that for what purpose you require a PC or a laptop right. So according to the requirement they tell you the uh, processor which you should go for right. So guys if your requirement is a one very basic one like if you want a PC for just browsing the internet and for doing some uh, work on applications like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, you want to play some basic games, you want to surf the internet, you want to watch YouTube, Netflix and some basic stuff and a little bit of multitasking then you should go for a, a PC or a laptop which is having a i3 processor. Now this i3 processor is the cheapest of all these four processors among i3, i5, i7 and i9 because it has only two cores. That's why it is called a dual core processor. Now from guys core let's make it simple for you. From core they mean to say that you can say that core is just like your arms. From dual core it means that the processor it has two cores. So if it has two arms it can do a certain amount of uh, multitasking a certain amount of tasks at a particular instead of time. So as the number of cores they grow the number of arms of the processor they grow and the more the number of arms guys you know more you works more tasks you can throw at the processor and faster it will be. So uh, if, it, if it, your basic requirement is like surfing the internet and some basic applications here and there you want to run for simple home use and simple office use then you can go for a simple i3 processor but if you want a step further then you should go for i5 processor which generally comes in the category of they also come in the category of dual core as well as they come in the category of quad core processors now since it is a quad core quad core means four cores so it it means that if your processor has four cores as compared to two cores which are there in i3 processor so you can throw more tasks in your PC, you can do better multitasking, you can play heavy games on your PC if you are having an i5 processor. You can do video editing, uh, you can also do some uh, heavy multitasking on your PC which is having a Intel Core i5 processor. This happens because of two reasons. Number one, which I told you because it is a quad core processor and second reason is that these i5 processor guys uh, they have a, a almost double the cache memory as compared to i3 processors. Now from cache memory you can simply understand it like this that cache memory is just like a RAM in your uh, mobile phone. More the RAM faster is your phone. Similarly if more is the cache memory in your PC in your processor faster will be your PC. So if uh, uh, your requirement is that you require a PC for uh, say a uh, certain heavy gaming for more intensive applications for heavy applications uh, and uh, if you want to live stream your games if you want to play online games uh, and if you want to do some heavy uh, video editing uh, on certain software on your PC then you should go for a PC with a Intel Core i5 processor right and uh, regarding the price range you can uh, I can tell you that uh, i3 processors uh, you can get in the range of a desktop PC with the i3 a laptop you can say rather 
with the i3 processor you can get it in the range of 30,000 to 40,000 and similarly for i5 processor you can get it in between the range of 50,000 to 60,000. So this was, this was about i3 and i5 and uh, regarding i7 processors they are the most powerful out of these three i3 i5 i7 is the most powerful because it has more number of cores right so an i7 processor guys it has almost you can say uh, it has even four to eight cores uh, at least it has four cores and at the max it has eight cores due to which you can throw any kind of application guys in, in on, on this processor so if your laptop or a desktop has a i7 processor you can do the most heavy stuff most graphic intensive stuff most heavy games you can play most heavy uh, you can say uh, video editing softwares like adobe premiere pro or uh, whatever softwares which are which require extensive extensive power those applications can uh, run on your i7 processor uh, so guys let me summarize it for you that if you have you require a laptop or a desktop for basic applications for basic home use for basic office use you should go for i3 processor which is the starting level if you want certain heavy gaming certain intensive tasks that is uh, mid level of gaming and mid level of you can say video editing you should go for i5 processor and if you want top notch performance then you should go for i7 processor and also guys these i7 processor pcs or uh, desktops these are uh, quite expensive for uh, you can get an i7 laptop starting from 60000 and above and lastly guys above all these processors among i3 i5 i7 that which is sitting on the top right there is the i9 processor which has 10 to 18 cores right 10 to 18 cores it has and you can just imagine that what multitasking horsepower it will be having so basically this i9 processor desktop or laptop pcs these are used by the ones uh, which are going to use very very heavy software like filmmakers and all that stuff which require very heavy softwares on their pcs very intensive work which they do on the pcs they require this i9 processor so guys this was a little uh, summary about these processors and i hope that now you have got the idea about uh, what kind of processor you should go for in your pc or your desktop so whenever you are going to buy a new pc or a laptop always remember these things and you will never ever be fooled so guys this is what i wanted to tell you in this video i hope you have liked the video if you do kindly share this with your friends and family members and please don't forget to subscribe your bhano talks channel and thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next one bye bye